You've heard of the uh, Hindenburg blimp, right? Yep. Anyone, anyone kind of can recall what happened there? What, what happened? Yeah, what happened? There's nothing interesting. Uh, did anyone know how it blew up? It hit like a telephone line or like a pole or something. Like what happened? Did the paint? Yeah, I don't really know. Did it like some yeah, sort of tower? The so paint. You want it? it can you explain it? Uh, the paint was a chemical that was flammable when it reached air. And then when it, so it went out and then it lit on fire and then all the hydrogen blew up. Blew up, sure. Wait, but it wasn't just hydrogen, it wasn't just hydrogen. Well, in the paint. The, the paint started the fire, but because the blimp was filled with hydrogen, the reason they, the reason they used hydrogen is because of uh, uh, its density and it could float a huge blimp up into the sky. So once that fire started, the whole thing was doomed because the interior of the balloon was filled with hydrogen gas. We're about to see how strong hydrogen gas can be. So, so well, what do they, what do they fill blimps with now? Do you guys know that? Do you guys know what they fill blimps with now? Helium. 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 And actually, when we start to look at the periodic table and look at reactivity, we'll, we'll hopefully discover why uh, helium is a pretty good choice. So um, what we have here inside this pipette is actually sulfuric acid. And um, it, it's not oxygen, or it's not uh, water. Because to, to, to split the hydrogen away from water takes a lot more current than a 9-volt battery, okay? Um, so there is hydrogen. Um, it's H2SO4 to make sulfuric acid. So we're going to try to release the, the hydrogens by running the current through there to break some of those bonds, okay? So, Mullen, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you try to light the, bu the bubbles on fire and see how flammable and how dangerous hydrogen gas can be. Okay. Uh, but what I want you to do first is just touch this. See when I touch the battery to that, it starts bubbling in there? I just want you to hold it on there so I can make the bubble. So go ahead and push that on the battery. I'm going to put trap the bubbles into the dish soap. So go ahead and just keep that there. Keep generating those bubbles. Should we scoot right, so back in the front? <laughs> So, oh, you want to back, back up. Okay, so right now we're just making a whole bunch of hydrogen bubbles. Okay. Now, this is a little Petri dish. There's not too many bubbles that can fit in here. Okay. All right, Mullen. Let's see if this works. We might need to... Uh, so I want you to light it first back here. Very good. Now touch it to those bubbles. Nice! Very good. My ears are ringing. Not too bad. She's not too scared. Pretty, pretty tough girl. Not bad. She's um, tougher than Kyle. <laughs> you're tougher than Kyle James. That's what I learned today. Nice. That wasn't too bad. That was a, that was a good medium one. Not bad. Yeah. 